Okay, so your homework is to complete the planning sheet and conclusion sheet for this investigation. I'm going to do the investigation using fizzy indigestion tablets. Um, I'm using Alka-Seltzer, um, but there are lots of other fizzy indigestion tablets you can use as well. You don't have to do this investigation at home. If you've got the fizzy indigestion tablets, you can have a go at it and use your own results. If you don't have these at home, you don't need to go out and buy them. Uh, I'm going to put my results at the end of the video. You can just use my results and watching me do it to help you complete the planning sheet. Okay, so what you'll need, uh, you'll need at least three fizzy indigestion tablets. You'll need paper and pencil to write your results down. I've got my phone here that I'm using as a stopwatch and you'll need a measuring jug or measuring cylinder um, to measure out your water. In these tablets, there's an acid, citric acid, and there's a base, the opposite of an acid, uh, bicarbonate of soda. And these two at the moment are not reacting with each other, but when you drop this tablet into water, the two, the acid and the base, start to react. Uh, and when they react, they produce bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. So when you drop this into water, it looks fizzy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop a whole one of these into water, time how long it takes to stop fizzing. Then I'm going to break another one of these up into small pieces. So we change the amount of surface that's exposed. Rather than just being one lump, we'll break it up into about eight lumps and drop those eight lumps in. And then we'll do it for a third time, but we'll crush the tablet up into a powder and see what effect that has on the time taken for it to finish reacting and finish fizzing. So I've measured out exactly 100 millilitres of water. You don't have to use 100 millilitres. You can choose, uh, if you're doing it at home, you can choose your own volume of water. And I'm going to pop that into my glass that I'm going to use as a beaker. I'm going to use one pencil to write my results down, one pencil as a stirring rod. Get my stop clock ready. Get my tablet ready. Drop my tablet in. Start my stopwatch and stir. Now I can see my tablets there at the minute. I'm going to stop my stop clock when there's no more fizzing and I can't see any tablet left. Okay, so I've finished doing the whole tablet. Uh, I've written that down the time it took. I'll show you my results at the end. Uh, I've taken a second tablet and I've broken my second tablet down into about 12, 13 small, smaller pieces and I've measured out another 100 millilitres of water. So swill out your glass or your beaker, pop in your new 100 millilitres of water, get ready with your stop clock, get ready with your smaller pieces, and pop them in, oh, pop them in, start your stop clock, and start stirring. Okay, so I've got one more um, reading to take, and that's for the tablet ground up into a fine, fine powder, so there's loads of surface area. Instead of just this amount of surface, the front and the back and the side of the tablet, when you grind it down into a, a powder, you've got the surface of every tiny little piece. Um, now, if you've got a pestle and mortar, you could use that to grind this up. I haven't got a pestle and mortar, so I'm going to put this underneath the mug and just roll the mug around on top of it to grind it down and then I'll sweep it off the side of the table with my hand. So on the edge of the table. So I've crushed up my tablet into a really fine powder. I'm going to sweep it off into my hand and I'll be ready to go for the final reading then. So another 100 millilitres of water, pop it in. Get ready with the stop plug. your hands are dry. If I can't get all of the tablet off the table, is that a very fair test? Okay, this is an optional extra experiment you can do. Don't feel that you have to do this. 
um, only if you want to and only if you've got um, fizzy indigestion tablets and spare vegetable oil that you don't mind using uh, and a bottle. This uses the same reaction that we did earlier with the Alka-Seltzer, with the fizzy indigestion tablet. Um, and it also uses a little bit of the last experiment that I did as well, where we looked at different densities. Um, so I'm going to use some water and I'm going to use some oil. Water and oil don't mix. Uh, water is more dense than oil, so I'm going to put that in first. And um, what we're going to try and do is make our own sort of homemade lava lamp using the Alka-Seltzer tablet um, and a bit of food colouring. So I'm going to put my water in first into a bottle. Uh, if you've got some food colouring, that makes this look a whole lot better. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of red food for colouring. Let's put a couple of drops in. Ooh, quite a lot. Mix that around. And now I'm going to put oil in on top. Um, I'm going to tilt my bottle slightly. Pour my oil in. And that's going to sit on a layer on top of the water because oil and water don't mix and oil is less dense so it sits on top. You don't have to use as much oil as I'm using here but for a demonstration I think it looks a little bit better with a little bit more oil in so I'll use a bit extra here for a demonstration. Okay and you're ready to go now all you have to do next is drop your Alka-Salsa tablet in. It will sink through the oil layer, go into the water layer, it will start to dissolve in the water layer and your citric acid will react with the bicarbonate and you'll produce those bubbles. Those bubbles then will travel up through the oil but they'll be bringing some of the food colouring with it as well so it looks kind of cool.